The QI macros have over 90 fill-in-the-blank templates to help you automate all of the documentation required for Lean and Six Sigma. Uh, Excel is a very powerful drawing capability as well as the ability to, to do a lot of good things for a Six Sigma project. So over on Excel, you'll notice that we have the fill-in-the-blank templates over here. And you have SPC charts, so all of the charts that are on the, the right side of the menu are also here in a fill-in-the-blank format. We have improvement tools. So we have the Ford AD report, the Toyota A3 report, we have things like fishbones and flow charts, and sample size calculators. We have lean tools, we have value stream mapping, we have flow charts. Under design of experiments, we have uh, DOE, uh, failure modes, gauge R&R, PPAP forms for the automotive industry action group. Planning tools, we have action plans and voice of the customer, and if you really need one, a project charter. And uh, project management tools, because there's a lot of crossover between project management and quality improvement. There's a whole section in the project management Bible about uh, sustaining and improving processes. You'll find things like work breakdown structures, voice of the customer, and project management formulas in this section as well. So let's just open up an SPC chart. We're going to use the XMR 4-pack, so that's the individuals and moving range. And here you can see our chart. And as you can see here, there's some numbers in there. But the idea behind the fill-in-the-blank templates is that you can just start entering your data. So if I start typing in data here, the chart will grow as you add data. Now we find that a lot of people struggle because they have to maintain these things and rather than come up here and run a new control chart every month, it's a lot easier to just drop your data into a fill-in-the-blank template. The template will also give you histograms and normal probability plots uh, that you can track. And so that's what these are like. And you'll discover that each one of these has a variety of options at the bottom. So there's a standard individuals chart. There's one that has a rolling. So you could do 24, 48 months worth of data. There's one with a median on the R chart. Uh, some people need fixed limits because they've already established their limits. Uh, some people need short run charts and so on. So at the bottom of all of our fill in the blank templates, you'll find um, various ones that you can fill in. And now the idea behind this is any place there's yellow you can put in data. All right? So I can I can stick in my data over here and it'll grow my chart. I could set my spec limits on this chart. So if I had an upper spec and a lower spec, uh, if I wanted to show one process change I could set it in here. If I want to set my confidence level, any place you see that this ivory yellow color is a place where you can input some data. So under improvement tools you'll find our fishbone diagram. Under lean tools you'll find our value stream map. And here's all the various uh, tools and so if I wanted to I could copy that and I could come over to one of our examples and paste that in here and connect that dots. And now under the QI macros there's more exotic tools like if you need to do design of experiments you'll find we have Taguchi and full factorial Plackett Burnham things. You'll also discover that we have uh, gauge R and R which is to handle measurement types of things. So that's how easy it is to get into our mini fill-in-the-blank templates. And so if you need one there's probably one sitting out here that you will find that it does everything that you need to do or is a good starting point for your improvement project. A lot of the Excel SPC software is kind of like an old 35 millimeter camera. You know, you had to change lenses and adjust focus and f-stops and junk to take a picture. But now almost anybody can take a good picture with a camera phone. And so what I've tried to do here is make it simple. So it's just fill in the blanks, put in your data, get a chart. How easy is that? To learn more about the QI Macros for Excel, go to our website, qimacros.com.